All right, so today we are in Miami Beach to take a look at a five bedroom, five and a half bathroom masterpiece, if you will. Sitting just off of the Normandy Golf Club, this property has been dubbed the name La Artiste. This house has been constructed and designed by Togu. The kitchen, the views, the rooftop, it goes on and on. Can't wait to show you inside. And if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Jason Matuk. I'm a realtor in South Florida, and this is what I do. I take you around, show you the nicest houses for sale, and this just happens to be one of them. So follow me inside, let's go take a look. So coming up the driveway, just little features in the slits between the driveway, laid out with stones, the stone path on both ends, up to the two car garage, wired for security cameras, of course. And then here, listen, you might think this is a lap pool. Absolutely not. This is just a decorative pond. It happens to be 40 feet long. So before we even get to the front door, the design alone, look at this. Look at these wood slats, one of the most aesthetically pleasing homes that I think we've ever seen. So let's walk around and take a look inside. Walking down these pebble stones, it takes me onto these huge slabs. Just look at these steps, please look. Look at the design as I'm coming across my 40 foot pond and the front entrance leaves me speechless. You get a little taste of the pool just hidden under there. I could see my friends hanging out and chilling. And then just even the design of this wall looking over, I don't know, it's just something that I've never seen before and I'm really happy to be seeing it. All right, well, I'm excited. I know you probably are too. I haven't uploaded in a while. Sorry about that. I don't even know why I have to mention it. Anyway, when I walk in, cool feature. The slats that I saw, they actually have a purpose. I can walk up and see my driveway, but remember from when we were outside, you really can't see in, so it creates this kind of like hidden one-way thing, but keeping it designed really nice. You have your car key table into here. And this is the wow, this is the choo, this is the shocking part of the whole house. And it's the main entertaining space is where everyone's gonna spend most of their time for good reasons. The kitchen, look at this. So you have a 22 foot long quartz countertop island going all the way down, a 20 foot long chandelier above and 20 foot high ceilings. 2020, 2021, it's the new year. This bar stool, listen, they could have just extended the ledge a little bit. Boo, 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 boo. We're, we're in a different kind of house. You have this wooden extension that comes out and leaves for 10, 20 seats, just, just for guests to sit and enjoy. Coming around the massive island, if it's possible, coming around, all this whole length is storage. All storage, just a drink cooler on this end. And then how about another drink cooler on that end? You like to cook? Do you have a chef? Well, guess what? I got a little surprise for you. Tell me this kitchen, did we just walk into a chef's kitchen? Look at this, the vent, right? The whole thing is this gorgeous stainless steel. White countertops to complement the dark finish at the bottom. Mila, everything. We're in, basically, is this Mila sales store? Got a Mila oven, Mila stovetop, Mila vent. This window, green. Just fresh, imagine cutting some vegetables and you're looking at green, health, life, turn around, the double doors are open, more green, more fresh air. It's spectacular. On one side, Mila microwave, and then look at the size of this Mila fridge. And you might be thinking, Jason, you're in a chef's kitchen, one fridge? Negatory, negatory. Pew. I got another one on this side. You want more? You're pretty picky. Well, that's all you're gonna get. I thought there was another one. <laughs> but besides those two fridges, two drink coolers, come on, does it get any better than that? And when I'm sitting in this kitchen, this is, like I said, the place where you're gonna hang out. People in there, people in that room, people outside, all the bar stool seating, you're all included. You can't stop smiling and the views are exceptional. Absolutely ridiculous. From here though, let's turn around real quick. Dining room. Cover your eyes, don't look at this yet, secret. Okay, good. Dining room. What to say, what to say. A pl 
This is someone's dining room? Look at it. Beautiful. Overlooking. You smell that? That's called fresh air. Yeah, you know what? Maybe you've been watching too many YouTube videos. It's time to go smell some of this stuff. It's ridiculous. You got seating for 10 of your closest allies. This is where you come and you talk 2021 goals and life. Or you know what? Maybe you sit here with your family like normal people. I don't know why I'm giving these crazy examples for, but regardless, window, this whole thing is opened up for the dining room. You can see your pool, see the water. Basically, the, you, you can't look anywhere in this house and not see water, which is a good thing. So from the dining room, it's gonna lead into the TV room, living room. A lot of the time is gonna be spent in these three rooms. So over here, sofas going around, just elegance, little armchairs, great coffee table, and a, just a great place, honestly, to sit here, look around, enjoy all of the views. All the furniture you see here has been designed by Meredith Bear. It's all modern and very exclusive. As you can see, it's beautiful. Coming across the kitchen again, just take one more look at the slats up there, the chandelier, the high ceilings, everything. The speakers wired out through the top, passes right on outside. Again, those sliding doors that open all the way up. Your first lounging space. You got the couch, two chairs, and that wall, there's a TV going on that wall. I don't care what anyone says. From where the front door was, the entrance comes into here. Here you have kind of like a sunbathing spot, kitty area, but it leads into this pool. As I come down, look at that, that dark finish. This is a house that living in Miami, people are gonna be coming over night and day to just party and have a good time. This is where you do it. Even just a place to sit, like look how, look how well thought this is. Just a nice piece of wood going all the way down. You're having a party. Everyone is just together. There's no one standing awkwardly. I love that. That's a great spot. Passes right where the dining room was. The pool comes to an end over here. As you look back on the property, you can't stop smiling. I wish it would go away. I can't, can't stop smiling. You have a dog, you have a dog or two, little guy, yard. Don't have to worry about it. Lounging space number two, check this out. This one's just off the living and dining room. So you know what, you're hanging out here. People are eating, people in the living room, people in the kitchen. It's all part of the vibe. It's nice, it's really nice. Coming down these steps, it leads to your second little, little yard. Look at this. Once again, bear with me, the property is under construction, so things are not gonna be completely finished, but they will be for your moving in. We come across and, how about this? You like boating? You came to South Florida to escape that cold in New York or the hustle and bustle in California? Well, guess what? You wanna be a real Floridian? Get a boat, get a boat like all your neighbors do, and if you need a boat, you got a 55 foot dock to plant that baby. And you know what you're gonna do afterwards? You're gonna call me and say, Jason, I saw your video. Thank you so much for showing me that video. Come on my boat. I'll, I'll say yes. As I walk down the bridge over there and then access to the ocean on that side. I better just sit over here and tan. Looking back on the house, it's a beautiful masterpiece. Once you get all this finished, it's gonna look really good. But from here, let's cut back into the living room. And as I come down, the first set of guest bedrooms. So, Two car garage on my right down there. The laundry room, and then just take a look at this half bathroom. The first thing that came to my mind when I walked into here, I felt like I was in New York. More specifically, I felt like I was at the, the MoMA, the, the art museum. It just, this seems like something over there. I don't know why, the, the black, the floating, the design of the toilet. How about just this window that I can see that once again, the design that we saw in the front has more purpose, just makes it feel really natural, really cool sink. I, I'm really impressed. This is an impressive half bathroom, I'm sorry. From the half bathroom, we do a 180. Guest suite number one. All the guest suites in here are super impressive. This one does not lack at all. Look at this. On both sides of the windows, you have greenery, so it feels really natural. It actually feels like a piece of art. All of these that you see here are closets, closet space. So you got an entire wall of closets coming around the bed. Just want to jump in there, so maybe do it. Come around here, an ensuite. The half bathroom that we saw has the same kind of design, but it, the colors vary. So 
you still get this crazy walk-in shower with a floor-to-ceiling frosted glass window, the light-colored wood on the walls, the light granite, the white sink. Different, same kind of aesthetic, just as nice. And that was only guest suite number one. Coming out of here, it's gonna lead us directly into guest suite number two. Coming down, come on in. Look at this. Once again, that wall of green, maybe a little bit more emphasized in this one. Over there, you have an entire wall of closets again, so just as much storage space. These windows are a little cool. They can pop open, get some fresh air in here. A floor to ceiling window, love those. In here, you have a, an ensuite, just like the one we saw before, but again, different finishes. So you have the black counters, black sink, light wood, and this walk-in. Feels like I'm going into a marble cave. If you will, look at that. It's, it's just spectacular. No complaints, I come out, fresh trees and life. Just feel like I'm one with nature in this house. I'm in the shelter, I'm outside at the same time. Ours. Coming from here. They, they, they'll put like a railing here. This is just incomplete, but still sick. On my right, as soon as you come up from the stairs, first guest suite, call it a guest suite if you want. This is, this is a master bedroom if I've ever seen one, but it's a guest suite. On my right, you have a walk-in closet. Take a look in here for a second. I need to take you in here because once again, guest suite, wall-to-wall -wall closets, storage, everything, sliders, a window, it's got it all. I just can't believe it. I can't believe how much you get in this closet. And on top of this closet, that's not enough for you? Listen, everyone's got their, their thing. You know, yours is clothes. You got more, more closet space over here. So you're good to go. You got it all. Subtle designs like this, not having a TV on the wall, but having a piece of art. The bed, magnificently laid out, and also the lighting in the rooms. You have that subtle hidden lighting at the top. Something that we don't see very often, like a chocolate covered paint on the walls. You would think if I was describing that to you that it would look like, like bad, and dark, but not at all because it contrasts perfectly with the white walls and what better feature to have in your guest suite than a balcony. And I keep in mind this house is still in the process of being completed, it's just that new. So the, the glass wall hasn't been finished yet, but when it's finished, you can see that it not only overlooks the Normandy golf course just across the street, but it's a great thing to do just to crack this thing open, get some fresh air in the morning, and all of this is a feature that the guests get to enjoy, which is perfect. But from here, the ensuite flows from this beech wood kind of color on the floor, into tile that looks like sand almost. So it continues that fresh outdoor feel. The back of the toilet has like the wood finish that the floors outside did. The sink, wow, look, look at this sink. It just feels very beautiful and soft. <laughs> and then this floating marble over here. They've done it such a great job. Even a seat and a full body mirror so you can check yourself out in the morning, make sure everything looks good. Walk-in shower for Six, a lot of space in here. The rain head at the top and the frosted glass to let in some natural light without giving away privacy, which that's all you can ask for. So from here, let's head down to the next guest bedroom. We're gonna walk down and take a look at the design just as I'm walking. They could have just put a wall, made it boring, but no, they continued the, the same slats that you saw outside made of wood. They continued it going all the way down creates this really cool shadow at the top, and then it curves into the second guest bedroom upstairs. As I come into the second guest bedroom, the same lighting at the top continues. This time, a little bit higher windows, no complaints. Your closet is flawlessly hidden behind these doors. And the ensuite here, the ensuite is where it steps up a notch. Take a look. The walk-in shower just flows right in. This time the shower head, a bronze finish. And then on my right, you have this rectangle black sink. From here, let's continue on down the hall. Coming from that guest bedroom, come down the hallway a little bit more. We're gonna, this is the rooftop entrance, but I'm gonna leave that for last, obviously. I gotta leave, I gotta leave something for you. Not just to give away all my secrets, 
but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little taste of something. Here's the master bedroom and there's, there's no other one like it. So getting started in here, a lot of treats. On my right, you have the toilet and bidet. However, as you can see, like I said earlier, it's so new, they're still in the process of getting everything finished. It will be done before moving, but I just and really appreciate all the design they put into here. This, the, that lighting that they have at the top, it hits in every room, even just the backsplash of the toilet, making my way to my, the left, this is the main part of the bathroom. So should I just even say a word or should I just let the camera do all the talking? No, I have to speak. As soon as you come into the master bathroom, on my right, the walk-in shower, it doesn't even let you know. You just have to figure it out on your own. This huge glass window allows me to look out and see water and the dock where my boat will be eventually parked. A soaking tub, because you've got to have one. If you're not soaking in this tub and looking out into this water, then what are you even doing? You're doing nothing. You gotta start doing this. Dual sinks, super long mirror, and I just, the lighting again, the lighting in every room is spectacular. Coming from the master bathroom, it floats with this pocket door into the master bedroom. So you can get that privacy if you need it, but it comes in. The design of this room is exceptional. The bedding, even the countertop, on the table, the lights hanging from the ceiling, everything is up to that luxury standard that you're looking for in a house like this. Comes around, nice place to sit. Leads down into the closet on this side. I have to show that really quick. And as you're walking towards the closet, full body mirror, looks good. And this is where you go, oh my God, look at the closet. Yeah. Look at this, come on in. And they could have just left it how you see every kind of closet. However, in the back, there's a nice backsplash lighting under the rack so you can see everything at night. And of course the size. And it leads right back out in to the front to get out. So make that huge circle, come in through here, get dressed, leave, makes it really easy. But the last feature of the master suite is the balcony right off by the bed, so. And notice the doors actually can slide all the way in. So you don't have that like half kind of slide thing going on. You have the full length to bring these guys down. Look at this. All the way in. I'm going all the way in. This side too. I don't need to explain to you why anyone would want to do that. It's quite obvious. It's beautiful. As you walk out, you got that glass railing on this side. You can step to one end, look at your pool, look at the view of the water, look at your bamboo. I don't know, just look, look around. Or sit here, have a cup of coffee, or you know what? Maybe you're feeling crazy, I don't know. Hop into bed, watch a movie while these are open, and now you're, man, you're outside. Someone said, what did you do today? You said I was outside, I don't know. Okay, but from here, I've kept you waiting long enough. It's time to take you upstairs to the rooftop so I can give you the taste of what it's like to live luxury in Miami. Let's go. It's time. It's time. Come on out. I think you know what's gonna happen. This is the part of the video where you say, Damn, I love this house. Made my way up. Take a look. If you live in South Florida, let alone Miami Beach, partying in the city with the heat is on, right? You know, you know the vibes. If you live here and you don't have a rooftop with water views, my friend, you are doing something wrong. This is how it needs to be. Places to lounge and tan, privacy. I could see down by the water, more space out here for dancing lounging i don't know you know what you could do up here absolutely sick and i just want to say well, this is a great place to end the video so i'll just say it right here thank you for following me on this video if you'd like this one you want to see more just like it feel free feel free to just click my next video also shout out to the listing agent one more time the developer and the designer and that's another one for the books let's go on to the next one